I want to show you how to export your video from Adobe Premiere Pro into the highest quality export settings. Now, first make sure that your project or video is fully rendered, and you'll know by this bar here at the top showing green. And when you hit enter on the keyboard or sequence render entire work area, it just begins playing your video. So once your video is completely rendered, go to File, Export, Media, and in these settings here to the right, we're going to select a format, and that format will be H.264. Don't select Blu-ray because all that really does is uh, export the file into a file format that even YouTube won't accept. So we'll select H.264 for this example, and for the preset here, let's select 1080p at 29.97 frames per second. So 1080p, 2997, high quality. There are obviously a bunch of presets, even a YouTube HD, but I definitely recommend the 1080p 2997 for the highest quality. So well, let's select that. We can change the output name, but we can worry about that later. We'll export the video, we'll export the audio, and we won't change anything here in the filters or the multiplexer. But in the video tab here, let's scroll down a little bit um, and double check that your frame rate is, in fact, at 2997. It might be on 24 or 23976. So we'll make sure that we're on 2997. I just want to make a quick side note here. If you recorded your video at 60 frames per second, you should export your video at 60 frames per second. However, if you don't know what your frame rate is, let's say you got your video from a third party, I don't recommend exporting your video at 60 frames per second. It'll look weird. So you're safe using the 2997 even if your video is at 24 or 23976. We'll keep everything here the same, but we will render at maximum depth. Now it will take a little bit longer for our video or our project to finish exporting, but for the case of this video, we want the highest possible settings, so we will check that box. We'll leave all of these settings the same except for VBR one pass. We'll bump it up to two. Now that's all we'll do for video. Now for audio, we'll keep the setting at AAC and we'll keep it at stereo. We'll keep all these settings the same, but the bit rate, we're going to upgrade that to 192. I think it's appropriate. I don't recommend trying to upgrade it to 320, but to 192, especially coming from 160, or even if you're as low as 96, bump it up to 192, and we'll keep all of those settings the same, but we will check this box here, use maximum render quality. Once again, that will slow down the export time, but what's important here? Quality. So we will check that box. Now once we've configured all of these settings, we'll just simply hit the export button and sit back and wait. We might have to walk away from our computer for a bit if it's going to take some time. So that's how you export your video or project at the highest possible settings. Um, those are the settings that I recommend. If you have your own settings, I would really like to hear them. Um, there may be some people out there that know some better settings than that. That would be awesome. So leave a comment below and uh, share with us what your settings are. Thanks for watching.